everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back. Boo is so happy you're here. We missed you. We are going to have more fairy tales today. I love fairy tales. They're such fun stories. And the first one is going to be on my flannel board. We haven't had a flannel board story for a while. And this story is about three little pigs, not bears this time. Three little pigs. And these three little pigs were happy, and they liked to sing, and they liked to dance. But they realized that they were getting kind of crowded in that one house. They thought it would be fun if they each built their own house and lived in their own house. So they decided to go on their way and find something to build a house of, out of. So this pig went, la, 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 and down the road he went. And he met someone carrying a great big pile of straw. And the little pig said, straw? That would make a good house. Excuse me, could I have some straw? So she gave him a great big pile of straw so he could build his house. So the pig worked really hard and he created the most beautiful house you've ever seen made out of straw and he was living there happily. When the second little pig went down the road, la, 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 and she met a man holding all these sticks and she thought, oh, sticks, I could make a house out of sticks. Excuse me, but could I have some of those sticks to build a house? And the man said, sure. And he handed her some sticks. And then that little pig worked so very, very hard building a house made out of sticks and it was a lovely beautiful house well their brother went down the road and he also wanted to make a house and he went singing and dancing la 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 and then he looked on the side of the road and he saw a lot of bricks piled up and he thought bricks would be a nice sturdy house i really think i should make a sturdy house that doesn't fall down so he took a long, long time and he worked very, very hard and he built a very sturdy house made out of bricks. All of the pigs were living happily in their own little houses and they were next door neighbors. That means their houses were right next to each other. When all of a sudden, a big bad wolf came by and he came to the first door and he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig looked out the window and said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he took a big deep breath and went, <gasps> and the straw blew away. And the little pig was just standing there and said, oh no, oh no, oh no. And he ran over to his sister's house and he said, can I come in, can I come in, quick, quick, sure. And the pigs stayed together in the house made of sticks. And the little wolf, big wolf, moved over and said, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. And the pig said, not by the hair, not our chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did. Oh, oh, can you help to big deep breath and blow? And guess what happened? The sticks blew up in the air and the two little pigs were there helpless without a house. So they ran over to their brother's house and said, quick, 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 let us in, let us in. He said, sure. And the pigs ran into their brother's house, made out of bricks. Well, that big old wolf, that big bad wolf moved on over to the last house and he said again, can you help me say it? Little pig, little pigs, let me come in. And what did the pigs say? Help me. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. And then the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Do you think he's gonna get to blow that sturdy house and let's see what happens. Help me blow. <gasps> Nothing happened. So he blew again. <gasps> Help me. <gasps> 
and again. He huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he could not knock down that sturdy brick house. So finally, one of the pigs looked at the wolf, who was looking kind of sad right now, and said, Wolf, why are you trying to come in anyway? And the wolf said, well, I'm actually kind of lonely and, and I don't have a place to live and, and I'm hungry and I was just trying to make some new friends. Well, wolf, you don't make friends by blowing in their houses. I'm sorry. Why don't you just knock on the door and then we'll let you in. So the wolf knocked on the door and the pig opened the door and the little pigs came out and said, hello, wolf, you want to be our friend? And he said, I do, I want to be your friend. So they decided to have a party and they got some popcorn and they roasted marshmallows over the fire and they sang and they danced. La, 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 la. And they lived happily ever after. He wasn't such a big bad wolf after all, was he? He just needed a friend. We all need friends sometimes, don't we? I have another couple of stories that have something to do with nursery rhymes too. And the first one is called Knock, Knock. Let's see what happens. Let's see if you know some of the nursery rhymes hiding in this story. Inside the first page of this book, there are door knockers. Do you know what door knockers are? Sometimes when you go to someone's door so that you don't have to knock with your hand, you pick up this door knocker and it makes the sound for you instead of your hand and there are so many door knockers i couldn't even begin to count them but there's a lot of them aren't there some of them look like lions some of them look like elephants some of them look like clowns pretty pretty cool and the story is called knock knock The postman brought us an invitation. Do you know what an invitation is? It's a little piece of paper that's telling you there's going to be a party. And then it's asking you if you would like to go to the party. So the mailman brought them an invitation to a party. That's so exciting. But the address was kind of smudged. So we went to look for the party. Which house could it be? So we went to a house to see who was there. The invitation said, Dear children, we're having a party at Fairy Tale Lane, but it didn't say the number, it was all smudged. And it said the time was right now. I hope you can come, your friends. And they wanted to come. They just didn't know which address it was. So they thought they would go look for it and see if they could find it. They came to this house right here and they knocked on the door. Let's see who's in it. Do you know who that is? It's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. They said, is the party here? They said, no, no party here. Okay, said the children, so they went to the next house. At the next house, they had to knock again. They were in the woods. I wonder if the party is here, let's see. Oh, it's not the party, who's that? That is Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma, and the Big Bad Wolf. I wonder if that's really the nice wolf that we just met in the Three Pigs store. I bet he is, but no party. Children said, are you sure you're not having a party? And they said, no, no party here. Okay, said the children, so they went to the next house. When they went to the next house, they looked, and it was a really beautiful green door with a knocker, so they knocked on it. It was, do you know who that is? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And they said, uh, are you guys having a party? No, we're not having a party. We're just having breakfast. Okay, said the children. And they went on their way to see if they could find the party. Now they've been to the Three Bears and they saw Little Red Riding Hood and they saw Snow White. No party yet though. They found another green door and this time, they knocked and rang the bell. Ding dong. Maybe this is the party, do you think so? Oh no, it was a witch casting a spell. Abracadabra. Are you having a party, said the children? 
No, I'm just mixing a magic spell. Okay, have fun with your spell. We're looking for a party. Goodbye. Oh my, will they ever find the party? So they went to the next door at the next house and it looked kind of familiar to me. Kind of looks like a story we just heard. What do you think? Do you know that story? Where there's a house made out of straw and a not so bad wolf sitting at the roof? Yeah, I think so too. That's what I think it is. Let's see. Hello, hello, we're looking for the party. It was the three pigs and the not so bad wolf. Are you guys having a party today? No, said the pigs and the wolf. We're just making friends. Oh, okay, said the children. And they went on their way. Now let's see if we remember all the houses they went to. First they saw the three bears. And then they saw Little Red Riding Hood. And then, what did they see next? I don't remember, let's see. They saw three bears. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, Seven Dwarfs and Snow White, of course. And then I remember the next one was the witch casting a magic spell. So, and then we saw three little pigs. So here's another house. They went to the next house. They said, this has to be the party. We've been on almost every house on this block. This must be it. So they knocked. Hello, hello. Is this where the party is? Oh, it was Pinocchio and Figaro the cat. Uh, are you having a party? No, I'm not. My friend Pinocchio and Figaro are just playing to some music. Oh, okay, said the children, and they went on their way. Do you think there is a party? They've been checking all the houses. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, another house. They went to another house, and they knocked as hard as they could. Are you having a party? No party here. It's just me, Captain Hook, and Peter Pan. Wow, it looks like you're having fun. Are you playing? Yes, we are. We're playing pirate. Oh, well, we would like to play, but we're invited to a party, and we I think we're late. Okay, have fun. Thank you, Captain Hook and Peter Pan. So they moved on to the very last house on the block. This house had a clue. Do you see the clue? What's the clue that this house has? It's a hint. It's telling us there might be something going on in there that they want to see. Do you see balloons on the door? Sometimes when people have a party, they put balloons on the window and on the grass and on the door and inside. I wonder if this is the party. Let's see. Hello, hello. And as they opened the door, all of the animals and friends they met at all the houses were there. I see the three bears, and I see the dwarfs, and I see Little Red Riding Hood, and the three little pigs, and I see Pinocchio, and I see Peter Pan, and I see the witch, all having getting ready to have a fun party with the children. And they had the best time with all of their friends and lived happily ever after. Now we have one last book today and this one I'm going to need you to help me with. I'm going to actually move my board up closer because this is an I Spy book and I don't know if you've ever seen an I Spy book but it's one where you have to use your eyes and be a detective and help me find things that are hidden in the book and it's kind of hard to do with you at your house and me at my house so we're going to have to look extra closely and work extra hard to be the detectives to solve the mystery. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. It's called Each Peach Pear Plum. Oh, look at that. It looks like a pie. Whoa, and a countryside. This is one of those big books, isn't it? I'm glad it's big because it'll help us find all the missing pieces. Each peach, pear, plum. I spy Tom Thumb. Do you see a little boy hiding in this book? 
I have this picture. I'm actually going to put this behind me for now so we can look closely together. I see pears. I see, I don't know what those are, plums. And then I see uh, something hiding in that tree. Do you see it? There he is. Tom Thumb is way up in the peach tree, I think. Did you find him before I did? You guys are great detectives. Do you think you can find some more? Let's see what else is hidden in this book. Here we go. Tom Thumb in the cupboard. I spy Mother Hubbard. Well, there's Tom Thumb in the cupboard. Where is Mother Hubbard? Now this is kind of tricky because we don't see all of Mother Hubbard. We only see her bottom because she is bent over. Can you see Mother Hubbard's bottom when she's bent over? There's Tom Thumb. You found it, there she is, is that silly? We found her bottom because she's bent over. What will we find next? Let's find out. Another mystery. Mother Hubbard down the cellar, I spy Cinderella. There's Mother Hubbard. Where is Cinderella? Do you remember in the story of Cinderella, if you've ever heard it, she was dusting a lot because things were very dusty and she had to clean. I think the Cinderella in this story is cleaning. Can you find her? Yes, you got it. That's right there. It's your hand. And she is dusting and cleaning. Mother Hubbard and Cinderella. You are very, very good at this game of being detectives of I Spy. Now, let me put my big book down for a minute so I can read the words and then we'll find the mystery. Cinderella on the stairs, I spy the three bears. Now this one's a little tricky. Cinderella on the stairs, do you spy the three bears? Look and see if you can find them anywhere in that room. I don't see them over here. I see the dog on the couch, kind of like when Boo is sleeping on my couch. Not there. <gasps> Look at the window. Do you see them by the window? I do too. Look, there's the littlest bear and the medium-sized bear and the great big bear. They're peeking at Cinderella through the window. Good detective skills. You think there's more in my book? Let's see. Three bears out hunting. I spy baby bunting. Baby bunting is a baby that's all wrapped up in a bunting or a little basket. Let's see if we see a little basket where a baby might be hiding from our eyes. I see the three bears. One, two, three. Do you see a little basket that might have a baby in it? Baby bunting? Hmm, not over here. I see a bunny. Oh, another bunny. Oh, did you see it right there? There's the bunting of the baby. And my doorbell ring, that is so silly. And my dog is barking, but we're just gonna let it ring because we're gonna finish our story. Are you ready? Baby Bunting, fast asleep. Oh my, I see some sheep. I spy little Bo Peep. There's Baby Bunting. Fast asleep. You have to look very closely and see if you see little Bo Peep. Can you find her? Look really, really closely. I see a duck and all the ducklings. I see a dragonfly. And way out in the grasses, I think I spy Bo Peep. That was a tough one. It was very hard to find her. And with all the commotion at my house with the doorbell and Boo, let's see if the next one's a little bit easier. Bo Peep up the hill, I spy Jack and Jill. Okay, put your good detective eyes on. First, we're gonna see Bo Peep up the hill. There she is. But where in the world is Jack and Jill, do you know that rhyme where they went up, the, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water? 
and down they fell. Do you remember? There they are. Their little feet are sticking up because they fell down. That was tricky, wasn't it? Oh my. There's still some more for us in my great big book. Jack and Jill in the ditch. I spy a wicked witch. I wonder if she's making a magic potion. Jack and Jill in the ditch. Oh, do you spy that wicked witch? I think she might be hiding behind the green bush. Do you see her? There she is. I see her nose in her hat. I bet she wants to make a magic potion for Jack and Jill. That would be fun. Let's see what's coming next. Wicked witch over the woods. I spy Robin Hood. There's the wicked witch flying over the woods. Do you see Robin Hood? I see his arrows. If you look very closely, there he is with a bow and arrow. Pretty tiny, isn't he? You really had to have your detective eyes on to find that one. I can't believe there's still more, can you? Robin Hood in his den, I spy the three bears again. Do you know what a den is? That's where the bears live. And Robin Hood is in his own little den. It's his own little place where the trees are nice and cozy. Robin Hood in his den, I spy the three bears again. Do you? Very hard to find them, but they might be in the woods. Did you see in the woods? Maybe <gasps> right there. I see a foot of a bear and another bear and a little tail of a bear. The bears are in the woods and Robin Hood is sitting in the woods too. He's in his den. Let's see what happens next. Three bears go a hunting and they see little baby bunting. So one, two, three bears. See if you see that baby bunting somewhere on that page. Do you see baby? Great, you are good detectives. You're right, right there under the bridge is little baby and I think the bears are gonna try to help baby. They're gonna try to stop the little baby bunting from floating down the water. Baby bunting is safe and dry. I spy a plum pie. Ooh, that sounds yummy. There's the baby and there are the bears. Do you see a pie hiding in our page? Oh, I hope they find it because that looks like it would be delicious. Maybe they're going to have a picnic. You're right. It's right there. There's their pie. Looks like they're going someplace. Plum pie in the sun. I spy. Look at that page. There's lots of things hiding in that page. There are, there's the witch and little Bo Peep and maybe old Mother Hubbard. Let's see what happens. I spy everyone. Everybody that we just saw hiding came to have a party, just like in the book we just read. They all were in their houses and then they all came together to have a party and look, old Mother Hubbard and baby Bunting and Robin Hood and the three bears, all and everybody, the witch and little boy blue, everybody came to have a party and they're having that delicious pie and having a wonderful time together. It's fun to be together and have a party, isn't it? Well, I hope you're together with your family today and I hope you have a party or if not, at least a yummy, yummy lunch or dinner. Bye-bye friends, see you tomorrow.